Okay, it's almost 12.01, so let's get started. Um, welcome everyone, it's Monday, another week, Mindfulness Monday, so we'll do a mindfulness practice today. Um, for those of you who are joining for the first time, welcome. And just quick reminder, you know, what we're doing here is we're just intentionally taking out a few minutes every day, Monday through Friday, to sort of flex certain parts of our nervous system uh, to make sure that we can sort of build those foundational neural networks, right? So mindfulness, attention training, gratitude, uh, parasympathetic activation. These are, these. that's not just sort of wishful thinking, but it's actually really just very practical. And at the end of the day, a lot of positivity just has to do with uh, with doing it and creating those repeated you know, states of being. So mindfulness is one of those key uh, foundational um, I think states of being, and I love this word or this description here, bear attention. So meaning it has to do with being able to pay attention to the present moment in a way, in a manner where we strip the, the, the judgments or the interpretations, right? Usually, I mean, the mind and the brain is a really effective vehicle. It, it turns everything into a story, right? Every experience we have, you know, the dog barking, oh, that invariably brings up memories of dogs that I've seen in the past that barked. And depending on whether my experiences were positive or negative, it immediately activates certain emotions. And the truth is we can't help ourselves. That's just the way the nervous system works. But understanding what's actually going on and being able to take a step back and watch that whole process in motion is, is a really liberating uh, skill to, to be able to practice. So quick review of what actually happens when we do this this practice of meditation um we start by focusing our attention on an object of our choosing right it could be sounds uh today it'll be it'll be breath but it really could be anything any of our five senses and the part of our brain that gets activated is this area here the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex so the prefrontal cortex is the area behind the eyebrows um dorso as in like the dorsal fin you know of the shark so that's that top part and lateral means to the side and so if you put someone in an fmri and say okay now intentionally focus on something like your breath we see a lot of uh, oxygenated and glucose rich blood you know rush to that area which is why it shows up on the fmri as a sort of an active area and then we try to hold that attention on breath and then invariably what happens is at some point we get distracted Sometimes it's like two seconds later, other times it's 10 seconds, but without fail, the distraction will appear. That's why this kind of meditation is, is, you know, it's very simple, but it's hard. And then we notice that in the fMRIs, there's all these different other areas of the brain that get activated. Um, and the focus on that prefrontal cortex area actually reduces. Um, and then comes the point when we notice that we're no longer focusing on uh, our attention on our breath, right? So there's this inflection point where focusing on our breath and our mind starts wandering. And then we notice like, oh my gosh, I'm not even thinking about my breath. Or I'm not focusing on it. That part of the brain is the insula and, and that the, the term for what happens there is called interoception. So it's the subjective inside feeling of, oh, I know what it feels like to be aware of, you know, like my noticing that my attention has wandered. Um, and then we reorient our attention. We say, right, I remember now I'm trying to focus on my breath. So we take that noticing that I'm not focusing on it. We reorient our attention back to the, the breath and we reactivate the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. So it's a super, you know, uh, simplified way of looking at it. But the goal of today's meditation is to see if you can notice this process happening. Right. So, so rather than getting into the content of, of the wandering thoughts and where did they go and why did I think that, it's really just noticing the mechanics of, oh, this just happens over and over and over again. And the skill that we're building is the ability that when we notice that our mind has wandered, to intentionally redirect back to you know, breath or the object of our choosing. So that's, that's fundamentally the, the, the subjective experience of, of mindfulness is that is that awareness or that noticing. So let's try it out. Um, let's start by closing our eyes.
Maybe taking a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And even right there, activating a that part of us that notices that we are doing that. What's it like to intentionally activate a deep in-breath and slow out-breath? So there's a feeling tone to that, that experience. So just noticing that. And then asking yourself the question, how do I know that I'm breathing right now? What are the telltale signs that the body's breathing? Sensations in your belly and your chest, throat. Sound of breath coming in, in and out of your body. And see if from sort of from a distance you can just look in from the outside and notice there's the body and there's breath entering and leaving the body. And see if you can just stay with the experience of breath. And then noticing where's where's the mind now? Is it still paying attention to the process of breathing and witnessing, or has it wandered off into memories or other thoughts? And if that's the case, just gently bring attention back to just awareness of breath. a very neutral stance of just witnessing breath. And without judgment, so without labeling as good or bad, or I'm doing a good job or I'm failing at this, simply noticing the tendency of the mind to wander. So despite our best intention of just staying with breath, the mind wanders, that's okay. And when we notice that, just gently redirect our awareness back to just observing the body breathing. It's very simple. If you're a visual person, you can sort of imagine those pictures of the brain that I just showed you. You can almost identify each each of the steps and what's happening in the in the brain. We focus on breath, and the mind wanders. At some point, we notice that the mind has wandered, and we feel it. 
And then we reactivate our attention, go back to just noticing breath. In the state of mindfulness, simply being aware of the cycle happening over and over again. Usually the more silence there is and the less stimulation, the more likely the brain is to wander. Then again, just noticing that and turning that awareness back to the body breathing. And see if you can become aware of what's called the feeling tone. So there's like a felt sense to this experience of mindfulness. There's a feeling tone to inhabiting this witnesser, this observer stance. Again, just noticing if the mind has wandered into the past or the future. Okay. It's returning back to the present. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through the nose. Slow out breath through the mouth. Relaxing your shoulders, chest, and belly. Deep breath in through the nose. Slow out breath. Relaxing your jaw, your hands. Back. And hold the out breath for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and open your eyes. Come on back to the session. Um, and and as always, see if you can still maintain in the background this this awareness, this mindful awareness of oh, the body's still breathing, even though I'm seeing all these things or I'm hearing new things. There's always this felt sense of what it's like to just be present with with whatever's happening in the moment. Um, also, quick reminder that tomorrow evening, uh, Brenda is ha having her community integration group. Uh, if you want to join that, uh, feel free to cityclinics.com slash integration. Other than that, I will hang out for a few more minutes now if anyone wants to connect. See you tomorrow. Thanks for participating. Take care.